into a thrift store where you have never been before is always so exciting. Like I love to see what they primarily sell and kind of what they collect. Looks like a lot of furniture in here, which I love. So this is really cute. I don't necessarily love the wood color, but I think it's a really cute piece. I need a kind of like an antique chair for the guest room, but I'm just not sure if this is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, these baskets are all super cute and only $4 for the bigger ones. I really need something for like a waste bin in some of the rooms, so I feel like this could work. Why am I so obsessed with lampshades? I really don't know. This is adorable. This is definitely really cute, but I'm not paying $15 for it secondhand, so that's not gonna happen. It's cold day thrifting. I think it's only like nine degrees out, but we got a lot of good things at the first store. So we're gonna go to the next place. I really can't figure out if I love this fabric or not. I know that sounds weird, but it's only, let's see how much it is, $6.99, which is a good price, and there's a lot of it here. But I'm just not sure, do I like this? I don't know. This could be cute with this lamp base. What do you guys think? I don't really have red in my kitchen, but for some reason, I just think this is so pretty. Stone coaster set is really, really pretty, and it's only $2.99. This is really so cute, but I just don't feel like I have a use for it. Okay, this is exactly what I came for. I really wanted a larger vase or jug. This is really adorable, but I don't know why there's a hole in the bottom of it. Hi guys, it is the next day and I woke up with a bit of a cold, so I am not feeling my best, but I wanted to quickly film this haul because what happens if I don't is I start using things throughout my home and then when it's time to film, I can't remember all the stuff I got, so I have to walk through my house and regather things up and I'm like, oh, I forgot I got this, I forgot I got that, so we're just going to go through this stuff somewhat quickly because I did get quite a few things and we don't need this video being 45 minutes. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I got. So I picked up, these were not together, I picked up this little shade and this little lamp base. I think they're adorable together though. They really work well. I needed a small lamp I think for the guest room. At some point I'm going to redo that because I just don't love it right now but I do need a small table lamp for kind of like the nightstand area and I just thought this was adorable. The base was $3.99 and the shade, oh it's facing you, was $2.99. All right, next I did get another little lamp base and this is actually for a DIY. I don't love the little details on here, but this would be really simple to do kind of like a faux stone look on that you see a lot. Those stone ceramic type lamps are beautiful, but they are so pricey, but luckily you can just DIY a dupe for a lot less money. So I'm going to do that on this base and then I found this adorable pleated shade to go with it. So I just think that's going to be super cute 
the base of this so the base I'm just now realizing this is listed at $9.99 which is really unusual. I'm honestly wondering if this was priced incorrectly. I don't remember looking at the price but lamp bases especially this tiny are never anywhere near $9.99. This would normally be like $3.99 or $4.99 so I don't know if this is special for some reason or if this just has the wrong price tag on it but apparently I paid $9.99 for it and then this little pleated shade was three dollars. All right next is the most stunning little pottery mug. Look at the colors on this. This is seriously beautiful. I saw this and immediately grabbed it. There's no information on the bottom which makes me think that maybe it was just it's not from like a company. Maybe this is a piece that someone just made by themselves but the colors are stunning. This is definitely going in my kitchen and this was $2.99. I picked up some frames and this one is just a really, let's not get the glare, simple wood frame. You guys know I love art and I'm always hanging up art so I do tend to collect frames whenever I see them. This frame was $3.99. Then I also got this set and these are these are the same they're matching there's two of them but I think the details are really beautiful around the edges I just think these are like they're nice and heavy these might end up in a bathroom makeover at some point I'm not totally sure I'll hang on to them until I really know for sure what I want to do with them but I got the pair of them for only four dollars and then the last frame I grabbed is just this really small cute wooden frame with like a gold accent inside. This frame was only a dollar. I picked up these two baskets and I love that you can see the difference in the wood tone here but I needed some waste baskets for two different rooms in my house and I really wanted to get baskets that are pretty and you know just they look beautiful in addition to being useful and being trash receptacles. I do have a couple wicker baskets in my other bathrooms for trash cans and I just really like the look. It just it makes the trash look a little bit nicer. So I love these. These were only four dollars so I thought that was a great price and these are nice and big so so I'll be able to start using these right away. Then I picked up this gorgeous set of stone coasters. These are really really beautiful. These are nice and heavy. There's four of them in here and they were two dollars and ninety nine cents. These are going to add just such a beautiful kind of natural element to my coffee table. I love how heavy they are. I love that there are some kind of like imperfections in the stone. They're not perfect. There's little like chips and you know things like that so they just feel very organic. These are really beautiful and just a really simple way to elevate the coffee table you know other than just some kind of like basic coasters. I did buy some additional lamp shades. I really needed some shades. I have this pleated one. There's a little bit of damage right there, but I can just turn it so that way you don't see that. We'll just put that little broken part in the back, but I did need to pick up shades, pick up lamp bases. That's kind of why there's so many in this video because some of the rooms in my house don't have an overhead light. The light switch is wired to an outlet so if you want to plug in a lamp when you flip the switch that will turn on instead. So I've really needed to start kind of collecting more lamps and that is not a problem because if you watch my thrifting videos you know I have like a love for lamps for some reason but I've really been going through older ones that I've had and if they just don't fit my style anymore I have been donating them so I need to replenish my stash. So I thought those shades were really cute, really simple, and just are more reflective of my current style. I also picked up some books. Now this first one I am in love with the cover. 
look at that beautiful texture this is actually a book about cars i will be honest cars are not necessarily my forte but who knows maybe i will still read about them and maybe i'll get interested but like look at the look at this picture this is beautiful isn't that so pretty it's it's there's like history of vehicles in here and stuff like that so this could be something i end up getting interested in but i just thought the texture and the color of the cover was absolutely beautiful this book was only one dollar the next book i got again loved the cover love the texture here this is actually a cooking book it's called country inns of america cookbook and there's a lot of really good recipes in here a lot of traditional dishes as well as more specialized things there's a lobster bisque recipe i love lobster bisque and so does my mom so maybe i'll try that out and she can be my test dummy for how the recipe is from this book this book was two dollars and 99 cents and then the last one i picked up you might laugh at me a little bit is actually a dictionary but the faux leather cover I just thought was so pretty. And do I necessarily need a dictionary? Probably not because, you know, we have phones and we can just look things up. But there is something that I think I will always love about having tangible books. Like having books in your hand and not just everything by your phone. So, hey. Who knows maybe i will end up using this big dictionary but i just thought the like i said the faux leather cover was really beautiful so i picked that one up as well and i do not see a price tag on this i think this book might have been a dollar as well next up is this kind of textured vase it's really pretty really neutral and really quite heavy the bottom is kind of like a silvery color so i think i might just take some rub and buff and kind of warm it up and maybe give it like a faux antique look a little bit but this is nice and heavy and i think this might be great for when i want really tall arrangements something that really has long stems normally what happens is when you have large arrangements is if the vase or whatever it is that you're putting the stems in really isn't kind of sturdy enough it ends up tipping over this especially if you add water is going to be really heavy and will be able to stand up to those really long branches that might tip over something not quite as heavy then i got this large vase and it's next to my head so you can kind of see how big it is the colors on this are already beautiful but to be honest i bought this for a diy i really want a large kind of like faux stone like i like i talked about earlier vase so this is going to be for a diy this may end up in a video i'm not sure yet but but I just love the shape of it. I love how big it is. And I really wanted something of this size that I could give a little makeover to and turn it into, like I said, one of those really beautiful stone looking pieces. And this was $6.99. Okay, now I think I'm realizing I went to a different Goodwill than the one that I almost always go to. And I'm thinking that that Goodwill has the higher prices. I don't remember if I talked about that in my last video or not because I did go to a few Goodwills. Um, but I went back to one of them and now that I'm thinking about it, I think this Goodwill just has higher prices. So that $9.99 lamp base probably was correct. All right, next piece that is also for a DIY is this glass container with these little handles which I think is adorable. I really want to give this a little makeover and put this on like a coffee table with um, some faux dried florals in it. This was $3.99 and there is actually like a little crack in it. I believe I did that on the way home because I know I gave it a good look over before I left and on the way home I did hear like a clinking but I didn't hear any glass so I thought it was okay but I'm thinking I did um, do that damage but you can't feel it on the outside of it so I think it's more of an internal crack I don't think it's going to affect it at all so things will be just fine 
This lamp base is an example of kind of one of those DIYs that I was talking about. When I picked this up from the thrift store, and I believe this was $3.99, this base, it was white with kind of like an orange and blue speckle design on it. Wasn't my particular style, but I did just kind of do like a faux stone look on it and now it just fits so much more of what I like. It is darker in person than it's coming up on camera but I think this is really cute and it's just a great way that you can give something a little upgrade and make it more your style and, and way less expensive than the real ones. And the last thing that I got, I'm gonna have to bring it over here, it is a little bit bigger. The last thing is this end table and I actually did get two end tables this was from Facebook marketplace though but I got it in the same week as all of this stuff so I figured I'd share it with you anyway I love the kind of simple look of it and I got a set of them for did I pay $20 for the two of them but I am going to be doing a living room makeover at some point and I really needed a set of end tables so this worked out perfectly Hopefully that living room makeover will be sometime in the next, like, month. <laughs> but I'm not really that sure. Anyway, that is it. I feel like I missed something or maybe a few things. I'm not sure if that's just because I was talking so fast, but hopefully not. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite piece was. I'd love to hear from you guys, you know, which pieces you loved. I will say this little mug like has just stolen my heart for some reason but I love all the pieces I have a lot of great plans for I think every single piece I did not bring any home that I don't know what I'm doing with I can't be breaking the thrift rules that I share with you guys so that is it for today's video I apologize if it was like a little bit rushed like I said I'm just not feeling very good so Leave me a comment and otherwise I will see you guys for my next video. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.